Hey, it's Jeff Carlson again. I'm doing yet another uh, audio clip for the good folks at Starship Sofa. I thought while well, I'm talking into a microphone, I might as well be talking into a camera or we'll throw this baby up on YouTube. So here we go at the 510 mark. Hey, it's Jeff Carlson again. I'm back on Starship Sofa. I'm here today to talk about my short story, Pressure, which I'm going to go ahead and say it. Pressure is one of my favorite short stories that I've ever written. Um, I like to think that it's a high concept idea. It's a little bit dark, like a lot of the stuff that I do. And it's also been one of my most successful short stories. It's been reprinted in Israel, uh, becoming out in Romania. It's been reprinted a couple times here in the U.S. And now it is an audio story, courtesy, again, of Starship Sofa. I don't have a whole lot to say about this story because, you know, I hate to give too much away. But the interesting thing about this story is this is one of those rare pieces that I wrote where I woke up from a nightmare. I was just having like this psychotic nightmare because I'm a disturbed individual. Um, you will like this. Sometimes when I go to sleep, there was a time when I was typing so much I felt like I was maybe developing some carpal tunnel. So I would go to sleep wearing braces to make sure that my, you know, my hands were in the appropriate position while I was asleep. I also sleep with a mouth guard because I grind my teeth something fierce, which is really bad for your gums and also isn't you know, great for the molars that you're grinding down. And I also sleep with earplugs because I have very good hearing and the slightest noise will wake me up. And my wife is, likes to joke that if, you know, if I could just sleep with one of those face masks to block out the light, which I can't because they make me crazy, but if I could just put on the mask too, I would be fully armored up. You know, my subconscious is a war zone and every night I've got to go in there. Tonight we'll be diving deep into the subconscious of Jeff Carlson. Be sure you're wearing your Kevlar body armor. Um, so I was having this crazy nightmare and I woke up, I don't remember whether, you know, I was having a head cold or something and I was having this crazy dream and it's the opening of the short story where this guy who has been surgically modified so that he can perform deep sea underwater construction, you know, obviously if it's deep sea it's underwater, right, what am I talking about, um, but he's been, he's been surgically and otherwise modified so that he can, you know, most, most normal divers you max out around 300 feet. Well, this is set in a, in a, in a semi-dark near future where we're trying to get as much you know, green power as possible because there's been a limited nuclear exchange between Korea, Japan, and the U.S., um, which isn't good for the atmosphere, among other things. And anyway, they're trying to build deep sea turbines, you know, which you would just build basically on like a continental shelf or off, you know, off the shore of an island. And as the tides come in, and the tides come out, they just naturally spin these turbines. They're doing stuff like this over in Europe. Uh, it would be expensive, but if you could do it right, it would basically, it wouldn't last forever. You'd have to maintain it, but it would last a long time. And it's just, I mean, it's perfectly clean energy. I mean, you might chop up a few fish now and then. Um, and, I, and this is just a, a cool little idea that I had. I'm like, oh, we could be building these turbines. And what if we could surgically modify somebody so that they could go down there? You wouldn't have to be doing it with remote operated vehicles and cranes and stuff. You could send down some divers. And anyway, I had this dream, and, and uh, this is where this all began. I woke up, and in my dream, it was like like my sinus cavity had been removed and opened, and they had put, the, like, there had been machinery in there. I probably had a head cold or something like that. And I woke up, and I thought, I thought, man, what was that all about? And I, I scribbled it down. Like, I was having this crazy dream, and I just kind of had this little idea, and I scribbled up my little notes. And a week later, I came back to it and started fleshing it out, and then I, you know, built the character around that and then proceeded to build, you know, the backstory with this limited nuclear exchange and why it would be so important to do, you know, this green energy, um, you know, because we're running out of oil and solar isn't an option anymore because, you know, the sky is full of dust and debris and all this great stuff. Um, and again, with I don't want to give too much of the story away. You would have to be, oh, I remember what I wanted to say. I wanted to point out that I did write this story before the Peter Watts Starfish books came out. Um, I do get email occasionally saying, you know, wow, you know, this is a cool story, but you clearly ripped it off from old Peter Watts. Read those books. I dig them. My short story was out on Strange Horizons, you know, before the Starfish books. Um, so, I mean, there's only, like, the vaguest similarities between uh, the Watts books, which are, like, man, talk about dark. Dark but fun. But the similarity between his novels and my short story is that, I mean, you would have to be a pretty strange individual you know, like emotionally and uh, sociologically, psychotically, to, um, you know, to agree to undergo this surgery and then be operating down there in the darkness alone. And you'd only be able to see with sonar. 
and you know there would be all kinds of problems with communication. How would they you know radio to you up and down through the dense salt water and all this great stuff? So you would be alone. You'd have to have a loner. And uh, so and I built this whole story around this guy who was you know kind of weird. And of course it's got the cool title. And anyway, I'm just babbling. I get excited about what I do. Uh, I would encourage everybody to jump by my website where you can actually read the text of Pressure for free along with another short story and excerpts of my novels, The Plague Year Trilogy. There's videos, there's contests, I'm maintaining a blog. I am like, I'm like Joe 21st Century now. I'm on YouTube, I'm on podcasts, I have a blog. I just, you know, woo, it's crazy. Jverse.com, J is in Jeff, Verse is in Universe. I hope to see you there. Thank you guys at Starship Sofa for having me on again. It's been fun.